Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2023 video tutorial. Another basic exercise, a flywheel. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at that drawing. There you go. You could of course make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS. So let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I need a circle and the diameter of this circle should be 230. And then I need some lines. Like that. Okay. Let's trim these and make those two for construction only. Okay, so this point and that point should be aligned horizontal. Same here, horizontal, and this one and that one vertical. I want to have an angle of 80 degrees and these should be parallel and the distance should be 19 millimeter. Let's go for another trim, like that, and finish that sketch. Now I want to make a thin extrude, or a thick extrude. So go to Features, go to Extrude. It should be symmetric, so it's mid-plane. It should be 40 millimeter. And I want to go for a thin feature. And let's take a look. I want to have 50 millimeter, but not to the outside. So reverse the direction so it goes to the inside and confirm. Then another sketch on the front plane. A circle. Diameter should be 40. Finish that sketch, make another extrude, make it again mid-plane and go for 60 millimeter. And confirm. Then another sketch, again on the front plane. Now I need a line like this and the length should be let's say 105 finish that sketch as well now let's make another extrude make it a thin feature yes that's activated automatically and mid plane yes but only 40 millimeter and the thin feature should go mid-plane and distance should be 10 millimeter. Looks good. So let's confirm. Now let's add fillets. I want to have 10 millimeters, yes. On this edge, that edge, this one, that one, this one that one now come on this one and of course those at the top here no not this delete that selection and that one looks okay so let's confirm great another fillet now 25 millimeter 
this edge and that here and confirm. Great. Now I want to reuse that sketch here. So select it, go for another extrudable space, make it mid plane, yes, make it 20 millimeter and confirm. Yeah. Now how to correct this? I want to move that post extrude before that fill it. So drag and drop it up here. No. Like that. And it's okay. Next sketch on the front plane. I need a circle for construction purposes. Right here. Let's zoom in. And for construction and the dimension should be 25. Then I need some lines. Okay, maybe like that. And those two lines should be for construction only as well. Now let's trim them and align those two points vertical. So I've got symmetry and the angle should be 25. Now two more circles. One here. One there. Dimension should be five millimeter and five millimeter. Then another circle which should go tangent here. And another one which should go tangent to this one here, yeah. Now let's trim. This should be removed, that should be removed, those two, yeah. And of course we have to delete one of those diameters. Looks good. So finish that sketch and now make a cut with this one here. So go for features, go for extruded cut, make it mid plane, make it 60 millimeter. Yes, and confirm. Now I want to pattern that feature here with a circular pattern. Direction would be, let's select this cylindrical surface, that should do. I want to have equal spacing, 360 degrees, 6 instances, that's ok. And confirm. Great. Next I want to copy that sketch here. So go for Control C to copy, select the front plane, Control V to paste it. Now it might be helpful to hide that body so we have a better look on that sketch here. I want to edit this sketch and let's go here. Let's try to move it a little bit away, so yes, like that. And then put this one here onto that origin. Okay. That angle should be 30 millimeter. That diameter here, 
This one should be 140 millimeter. And I want to change the diameter to 2020. Well, Looks good. Is fully defined, yes. So add another circle here. Again, diameter is 20. This point and that origin should be aligned horizontal. And I want this to be tangent to that arc. And then I need two more circles. One, two. Dimension should be 10 diameter. Again, 10. And then I want to align this here tangent and this arc to that circle also tangent. Same over here. This arc, or first maybe those two tangent and this one and that one tangent. Now let's go for the trim. This should be removed. This should be removed. This here, that here, those two, those two. Then zoom in. There is some small line to trim, really. Not like this. Let's undo that. Like that. Same over here. That's because of those construction lines. This looks okay. Then I want to add a dimension from this point to that center here, and that should be 50. And now I might have to add that. That would be a radius of 10, yes. Yeah, it's fully defined. Leave that sketch. Now let's make another cut with that sketch here. So go for extruded cut, make it mid-plane, yes, make it 20 millimeter at least, and confirm. Great. Now I need a circular pattern and I want to pattern that cut extrude. Go for a circular pattern. The direction would be this one here. And I want to skip two instances this one and well, that's really hard and this one and I want uh, to edit those as well so maybe go here and see nope we have to go for instances to vary but then it moves them all here together so maybe I do them with 60 degrees, which widens that space. And this one should be 54. And this one should be 66 from the last one, 66. That should do the trick, hopefully. No, it's 120, so it should be 1 to 6. Yeah, this looks good. So let's confirm this. Great. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and many more. 
Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.